and welcome to Around the Verse. I'm Sandy Gardner. And I'm Chris Rollins. Well, that's all for us this week. We hope you're enjoying Alpha 3.2 so far. Yes, most definitely. We hope you are. And remember to keep sharing your exploits on Spectrum. We'd love to see all the drama, excitement, and comedy that comes from your adventures. Yes, we do. And until next time, we will see you Around, around the Verse. The verse. Oh my god, oh my god, ATV was so short this week, is this what I pay for? Ah, rage, rage, wee, wee. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I know there's a lot of people kind of raging out and making comments about this. You have to look at a calendar once in a while. It was July 4th this week. Now, for those of you out there who have never opened a history textbook, July 4th is, of course, celebrating the anniversary of the day that Randy Quaid defeated the aliens, thereby saving the entire world. Independence Day? Look it up on Wikipedia. Get educated, dude. Come on. So, pretty much, ATV was just a review of what we got in 3.2, and, of course, a little reminder that we'll get a couple of little patches for you know, little performance upgrades and fixes or whatnot for 3.2. And then it's on to patch 3.3, otherwise known as the Hammerhead, Bind Culling, FPS AI, and then a whole bunch of shit that nobody really cares about. Now, this left me in a bit of a quandary because you can't really have ship updates if there weren't any updates for a ship. And then I kind of remembered that earlier in the year, CIG had made kind of a half mention of the fact that towards the end of April, they were going to pre uh, begin production work on the Polaris. But after digging through my notes and doing a few quick Google searches, I found that since then, there really has been no mention made of that ship. So there's really no update there other than it's they're possibly working on it now, but we have yet to see anything about that. And of course, it's obviously not going to appear on the roadmap yet, as this represents probably the better part, if not over a year, worth of work before this ship actually makes it into the PU. But while I was reviewing that, I kind of stumbled upon something that was missing. Now you may remember that in 2017, of course, we spent the entire year waiting for 3.0, and that was a very difficult year I'm sure for myself as well as you guys, I'm sure you will remember it. But during that year, of course, we were getting lots of video updates as to the ships and their progress. And, you know, we saw the Reclaimer a whole bunch of times. But there was another ship that we were seeing, another big ship that we were seeing right next to the Reclaimer. Until it vanished. And that ship is this one. That ship is the Hull Sea. Where is it? You guys remember last year we were seeing all this video. They were getting done with the interiors. Everything was looking great. And then it was gone. It vanished and we never saw it. What happened to this ship? And so I really started digging into this and I was going, okay, there's got to be some kind of updates. There's got to be some kind of, oh, we set it aside, but I couldn't find anything. And I kept digging around and digging around and I couldn't find any mention of this ship other than at one point they were working on it and then it just quietly disappeared. Now, in all honesty, I would guess that probably the reason why they did it is because of the unique way that it carries its cargo, which is externally and the ship, of course, kind of telescopes outwards and expands, allowing for all these different cargo pods and modules to be mounted onto the ship. There really is no landing area or cargo system currently in the game that can actually accommodate this ship. So while they were developing the ship there's probably nowhere in 3.0 or beyond that currently even now in 3.2 that can accommodate the ship except in its fully folded up state in which of course it can't haul any cargo so it really can't do anything in the game so that's probably why it got dropped such is the nature of game development so despite all my digging i wasn't really able to find any real ship updates out there it's all the stuff simply that we already know and some of the things that we just don't have any real confirmation on as of yet so 
hopefully we'll have some more information developing over the next week and hopefully we'll also get a bit of a server reset this weekend so i can get back that 30 plus thousand dollars worth of cargo that i incinerated stupidly yesterday anyways that's the show for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching Thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.